my name, Adam Daniel Mazet. Thanks again for watching. This is the ADM video blog. A little bit later in the day, it's easier for me to make contact with the camera. No sun blaring in my eyes. If you are on Google Plus and you haven't plus one PMDforHire.com yet, go on over there and kindly plus one me. I'd really appreciate that. So I'm listening to Chris Wheats and I'm listening to him talk to Elvis Mitchell about a better life. And I'm reminded on a completely unrelated note to a lot of the marketing material I've been discussing over the past few days. I'm completely thinking about the children of immigrants, the children of parents who worked really hard day in, day out, not really having much of a choice of the things that they wanted to do in their life, but made a point of getting up, going to work, being an active member of their community, constantly going out there and getting to work no matter what the score waking up at the same hour and being in the office or at the store or whatever the case would be at basically the same time every day that was very important for them to maintain that kind of a schedule and it's always going unnoticed in a society like ours which is moving at a quixotic pace it's always going unnoticed in a society like ours where we have ultimate, to cho ultimate choice to do whatever we please and to follow our life's path in whichever way we choose and to continue to opt and change and possibly you know dance around the central issue whereas immigrants came and sought a kind of an anonymous lifestyle didn't want to necessarily be caught up in the bureaucracies of the new countries where they found themselves if they were arriving here in the post-war context for instance didn't necessarily want to get entangled in all of the problems of you know the teething pains of the society in which they had decided to call their own or where they were sent and that dog barking is really throwing off my game but I'll continue to concentrate and the children of those immigrants that don't necessarily have the respect for what their parents did don't necessarily acknowledge the contributions of those parents and are embarrassed perhaps you know of where their parents come from or not necessarily wanting to speak the language that their parents speak as their mother tongue it's things like that that I was thinking about as I was listening to the playback of Chris Weiss's interview with Elvis Mitchell on The Treatment, which is again a film podcast, but of course there's a lot of life lessons that are involved in that, that are part of that, of course. So just step back and think about where you come from. Think about the matrix that goes into your DNA and the people that preceded you and the things that they sacrificed in order to bring you to the level where you're at. It's not often that we really pay attention to that. In fact, rather than look upon it disparagingly, Acknowledge those people, for those people are the real heroes. My name, Adam Daniel Mazet, dispatching from Toronto in Canada. Little sip of coffee and wishing you and yours and every little person in your circle of influence the very best of things.